All right, good morning. It is officially, for the record, October 1st, 2024. First day of October. It's scary. Here we go. We just learned in class recently, and so we're going to broadcast it decently. Proportions. All or nothing. Here's what I mean. First of all, let's set the table, set the, set the stage. Um, yeah, what is that? Call it out. It's a thing. It's a fraction, right? Fraction. What if I do this and extend my little fraction bar there? Now, what is it? Yeah! Shout it out. Go ahead, shout it out. I'm Peter Brady. It's a ratio because it has numbers. That's not a hashtag. In the old days, that's a number sign. It's got labels, dogs and bones. So to have a ratio, we need a fraction and we need more stuff. It's got a comparison symbol, which as we've already learned, could be a fraction bar, could be a colon, could be a word like two or per. So that's a ratio, boom. Wait for it, wait for it Long Beach. And what is that that's still uncovered? What is this? Yes, it's another ratio. Good job. You are so smart. Okay. So we have two ratios. You probably already noticed something. I want you to take a moment on purpose and think how many different connections do you notice with these two ratios? If you need some serious think time about bigger issues like the meaning of life, go ahead and hit pause. Perhaps you noticed, you might have thought that it's cut in half going across. Or you, which is another way of saying divided by two, right? You may have noticed moving from right to left that it's doubled or times two means the same thing. That is called synonymous. Times two is doubling something. Okay, so that's our first noticing. Our first observation is common horizontal factor. Common, which means same. This will be hilarious, but go ahead and show me with your arms. Both of them, what horizontal looks like. Be expressive. Yeah, I just did it. My arms went that way. Horizontal means left or right. And factor means something we multiply or divide with to get a product. For example, in this case, it was two. We went left and went times two, multiplied, and we went right, divided by two. Agreed? Good. I'm gonna highlight that, because, well, it's important. 
This whole video is important, so highlight the whole dang thing. I mean, woo! Highlight it, but especially within the video. That's number one. We're going to have three things you probably noticed from the uh, thumbnail, the opening screen there. I'm going to go second observation. Did you notice as we go this way or this way, there's a number that makes that connection by multiplying or dividing. To get down here, we multiplied and to go from the bottom to the top, we divided. And both sides have worked the same way with the same number. Same means common. Up and down, do you know that word? Up and down, vertical movement. And we already learned way before this video what a factor is. It's a number that we multiply or divide with to create a bigger or a smaller number, relatively speaking. So common, same vertical, up, down. We can use our hieroglyphics or symbolic language to capture all of this. So as we move up and down between these two ratios, what is our common vertical factor? 18 divided by something makes 6, and that same something is 6 multiplied by. So it's 3. To move up or down on either side. What am I going to do now? You guessed it. Highlight. And this porridge was too hot. This porridge was too cold. So you know there's going to be a third thing. This porridge is just right. You may not have noticed this, but I'm going to ask you a few questions and we'll see if it makes you notice. I'm just going to rewrite it down here so we're on the same screen. We had six dogs, 18 bones, and three dogs, nine bones. I just abbreviated our labels there with variables to represent the labels. I'm going to ask you a question here. Shout it out. What's 6 times 9? Go! Good. 54. You see what I'm talking about? I'll give you another chance here. Shout out. What's 3 times 18? Let's see. 18 plus 18 is 36, and another one is what? You got it. Those are called cross products. So, of course, these are factors. The small ones are factors, and the 54s are the products of those smaller factors. And they match. They're common, right? Equal. All the words. Until they go off the screen. Then we stop. Looks like I better highlight that. So in this case, our common cross products are 54. They're usually going to be different every time. So, three things when we're checking to see if something is a proportion. It is a common horizontal factors. Two, in this case, 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Common vertical factors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, I need to get in, open the door. And finally, vertical means what? 
Up and down, yes. And then we did cross products, which are the same. So the point here is when we have a proportion, which is, let's define, I know it's going to take extra time, but it's worth it. It's a comparison. What are we defining here? Yeah, the title, proportions. Comparison of two or more equivalent, what's the magic word? Ratios. There's our nice little definition. Get it. If you didn't get it, get it. We have three ways to test for that, which was the highlighted three bullet points there. Common horizontal factor, common vertical factor, and common equal same cross products. Back to the title. What did that mean? All or nothing? There will be a second video where we test out a few samples. When you run these tests, they're either all going to work, in which case it is a proportion, or none of them will work. And there is no in-between. There is no mid on proportions. You either get all three of these criteria met, or none of them. Rawr! All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.